everyone, my name is Fizi Moslim and I'm standing here right in the middle of where all the action will be taking place at the inaugural Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2010. Over the next four days, we will see various Asian nations coming here at the Sepang International Circuit in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to face the challenge of designing and building the most energy efficient vehicles that can travel the farthest distance whilst using the least amount of fuel. It is the morning of the first day of the competition and we're now seeing members that are participating in this year's Shell Eco Marathon Asia arriving here to register themselves for the competition. We were actually fresh, very fresh to the idea until this year April. Then we finally actually got the so we have. Yes, they are actually a brand new team as well, so it's, it's something very new for us. Uh. It's always fun to see the type of cars, you know, they're actually fat, thin, small, big, you know, different funny sizes, so it's a good ex experience and exposure to us as well. At least now we want to make our country prosperous for our team. I might be can drive in Sepang. Okay. That's all. Uh. <laughs>
It is Saturday the 10th of July and the heat is on as it's, as it's a final day of the competition and teams are taking to the tracks to clock their mileages and see how far they can go on one litre of fuel. They started going stuck. Oh, man. The problem is maybe uh, the solar panel, it, the the power maybe is not enough, so that's why my 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 car didn't didn't move. I'm standing here at a part of the tracks where it's a bit challenging for most teams to get through, and it's an uphill battle. We, and so far we've seen two cars already stalled, and there's a third one on track, and we're gonna see if that one also needs to be put on the tow truck to be carried back to their garages and for the teams to work on and improve their engines so that they can try again. The, the first shell at the Marathon Asia has been brilliant. Uh, we got a lot of great teams, there's a lot of good learning and I'm convinced that uh, it's only going to be that much better in the years to come. So it's like it summarizes all that we learned in engineering, um, you know, incorporates teamwork and everything. For the last nine months we've been working really hard in it so we are feeling pretty sad that it's all coming to an end. It's a great experience. And the thing is that all are together, all the nations are together. Everybody's helping every other person. So it's just binding force. The world is, the Asia is binding by this. This is the biggest thing about the, the Shell Eco Marathon. We are trying to use the land to the land. We the this evening is a climax of the week as we crown the inaugural champion. Thank you for your friendship, enthusiasm and energy. Many thanks for keeping our shell flag high. I hope to see all of you again next year in Shell Eco Marathon Asia, which will be held from 6th to 9th of July. Mark this date, 6th to 9th of July, 2011. Thank you and have, have a safe journey home. And that's it for the Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2010. Teams are now busy taking group photos, it's there's finally smiles on their faces, no more sweat, they can all rest, the race is over, so thank you for staying with us and we'll see you in 2011. Cheers! Cheers.